Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Duncan Dimanche. I have a little setup here with my friend Nathanael, who's going to be my model today uh, for about three minutes. That's all she gave me today. And uh, I want to show you, I have an 85 millimeter here and a 50 millimeter here, 1.1. This is a 1.4. It's a $5,000 setup versus a $1,500, $600 setup right here. And uh, I want to show you guys that it's really hard to tell from full frame sensor to a crop sensor. And I promise you that a lot of you will not be able to tell the difference because even I got confused at some point in Lightroom when I was retouching the two and I actually thought I was retouching the Camlan 850mm when I was actually retouching the Sony's. And I truly believe that it's going to be really hard for you guys to tell the difference. But uh, let me know in the comments below. Full frame is one and uh, the crop oh sensor is wrong. All right, so I just want to talk about a little setup that I have here. It's a Camlan 50mm 1.1 which costs $160. It's a lens for the crop sensor, so it doesn't work on the full frame without having huge vignetting. And I want to compare it to the $1,800 Sony 85mm 1.4 and uh, on the A7R 2 setup. So the 50mm is the equivalent of a 75mm 1.6 in terms of depth of field and bokeh and all that stuff. And here I have the 85 1.4, so we should be close in terms of bokeh. So I just want to concentrate on the rendering of the image rather than just the contrast and the sharpness because obviously the 85 1.4 Sony is going to destroy it. No doubt about that. Uh, but I like the fact that this lens cost only $160. It's an amazing setup. So let's see what we got. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I will be doing a lot more re videos on uh, comparing you know, the full frame versus the crop. And I wanna test some new adapters, some speed boosters with the 85 millimeter um, Samyang because that's an amazing lens as well. Let me know in the comments below which one you like better. I will not tell you right away which one is which because I want you guys to be able to see for yourself and judge for yourself. So be, be honest about it. And um, let me know in the comments below while you're watching it, which one you like better. I'll put a number one and number two on um, each different setup. All right, so we're gonna start off with this shot that I took of Surge, and here's the first shot, and here's the second shot, and can you tell which one is which? Here's the first one again, it's the same photo, and that's the other lens and the other setup. And when they're side by side, you should be able to tell the difference. It will be easier, of course, because you can tell that one is more blurry, the bokeh is more creamy, and here's the zoom at 200%. And let's look at the book in the back. And both are shot at the widest aperture. So here you have it, the full frame was number one and the crop sensor was number two. And I wanted to see Serge randomly could tell the difference, so I gave him a little test. I'm gonna show him the photos that I just took, Serge randomly, and um, I wanna show him the photos that uh, I took. I'm gonna ask him if he thinks that's the full frame or the crop sensor. I already told him what lenses I used. And uh, so what do you think about the first one, Serge? Uh, I'm thinking this is, uh, well, can I see both before I give an answer? Well, you can look at that one first. Well, first, let's do it. Let's try that both ways. What do you think? Do you think it's a full frame or crop? This I think this one is crop. Okay. And uh, what about uh, two? How about this one? Oh, wow. Uh, so that's the same one, but with a different camera. Well, it's hard to say, hard to say, hard to say. Uh, actually, I think this one is a crop one and I changed my mind and the other one is, uh, is the 85 1.4. Okay. The $2,000 one. $2,000, okay. Um, let's see them side by side now, see if that changes your mind. Yeah, okay, I say the one on the right is the, because the bokeh seems to be smaller. I seem to recognize the bokeh of the 85 1.4 here. And this one, the bokeh is bigger. I might be wrong, but that's my idea. Um, do you want me to tell you right now? Yeah. Because the full frame is the left one, and uh, the crop oh, okay. sensor is the right one. <laughs> so I had it wrong. The, yeah, but the difference is also the 85 is a longer, it's 85 millimeter versus uh, 75 right. equivalent. So it's why the bokeh is more, is more pronounced on the, the full frame one. But yeah, it's so hard to tell. It's very yeah. hard to, and the sharpness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great, and the sharpness is incredible. If you, if you look at the sharpness on both, um, yeah. Still pretty good on the. Yeah, it's a little bit better on this one. 
a little like a little wider on this one on the one on the right yeah you're right yeah this one is like she's we can see like her cheek here is a little more blurry like you definitely see this smaller on this one yeah so which one is the 85 1.4 the 85 just another one yeah that's 85, the 85 yeah. yeah yeah so the 85 is a little is actually less sharp how much is that lens the, this lens is 160 dollars wow but you'll see like now i'm going to show you photos so i'm going to undo this I'm gonna show you photos from a bit wow. further. $160 versus $2,000, that's crazy. She gets a bit further, then the difference is more pronounced. Oh yeah, from like a, a cowboy type of shoot? Yeah. Okay. Well, I love the book in both. So that's the 85 1.4, and that's the, the 75, yeah. right? Yeah, but but it looks, it, yeah, this one is yeah. again more sharp. Like the depth of seal is, is smaller actually with the 85 because of the 10 millimeter more, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, also that. And, uh, but it's still beautiful, I mean, that lens is amazing, yeah. And uh, let's see another one. Um, All right, so the same shot, but further back. Here's the first photo and the second photo. And now side by side. All right, so the crop was left one and the full frame was the right one. But now you should know which one is which because you do get used to the bokeh of each lens. I know that the 50 millimeter cam lens has a very swirly Okay, and uh, not as pleasing. It's a bit more busy as we say and the 85 Sony on the full frame is just super smooth and very creamy All right guys, so grab a pen and paper and make a graph like I did on the right I have 20 photos that I'm going to show you guys that are going to be numbered 10 of which are full frame and the other 10 are crop sensor and I want you guys to write down which one you think is which and uh, write down how many answers you got right and give us the answer in the comments below. It will be fun to see how many people you know, got them right and if one can actually tell from a full frame to a crop sensor. Don't hesitate to pause and take as long as you want on each photo, it's fine. Just as long as you don't cheat and go in the end to look at the answers. So let's look at the answer now. The first one was a full frame. The second one was a crop sensor. Third one a crop sensor. Fourth one a crop sensor. Fifth one a crop sensor. Sixth one a full frame. Number seven a crop sensor. Number eight a full frame. Number nine a full frame. Number 10 full frame. Number 11 full frame still. Number 12 full frame, number 13 a crop sensor, number 14 full frame, number 15 crop sensor, number 16 crop sensor, number 17 full frame, number 18 crop sensor, number 19 full frame, and number 20 full frame. All right guys, now that you're done, write down in the comments below how many out of 20 you got right and uh, be honest about it guys. Before I end off, I'm going to tell you why I made this video. Um, I read a lot of comments on internet, on YouTube and so on. People keep saying I want a full frame because I like the look of the full frame and so on. And that's a good reason. Yes, it's a lot easier to get a nice bokeh, nice creamy bokeh with a full frame sensor. But there are a lot of new lenses that are coming out that do crazy apertures like 1.1 or 0.95 that can really do amazing bokeh. And um, look at the size difference, guys. This is a full frame sensor, this is a crop sensor, and they're pretty much equivalent in terms of, you know, focal length and aperture. Um, but this one costs about $1,800, this one costs $160. It's fully manual, no autofocus. And I will make a review of this lens very soon, and I will compare it to this one. And uh, because frankly, I was very surprised by how good and how sharp it is for 1.1 lens. So let not be the bokeh, your only argument for 
getting a full frame camera. You can get an amazing photo with a crop sensor, like the A6500 that I have, I love it. It's got a great dynamic range, it's got great video uh, autofocus, great video quality. So yeah, okay, that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from this because this is what this channel is all about. And I hope that it's gonna help you make the right decision. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video and uh, let me know what you would like to see. Uh, I can make reviews of anything really. And uh, as long as you ask me nicely, I will do that. So see you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.